Hello people, welcome to Shabgavi DA channel. Today we are going to learn how to make Ghanaian salad. This is easy and simple recipe. Just vegetables and egg salad with a touch of tuna. I know you are going to enjoy this recipe. Come, let's do it together. Yalla! Yeah friend, let's go through the ingredients I'm going to use for the Ghanaian salad. I have chili powder, mayonnaise, carrot, tomatoes, cucumber, onion, lettuce, big beans, tuna, eggs, and tomato ketchup. These are all the ingredients I'm going to use and they are 11 in total. The egg is on fire boiling and I have boiling water for the carrot. I will blanch the carrots for 10 minutes after I will flush it under cold water and I will cook the egg also for 10 minutes same process flush it under cold water to stop the cooking process carrot itself is hard and also when you eat it without salt it doesn't taste that good so always better to blanch the carrot in boiling water for 10 minutes add salt to taste and then cook the egg also in boiling water for 10 minutes and we have a hard boiled egg and our nice blanch carrots. The 10 minutes is up. I will take the egg from the boiling water and then put it in cold water. Add some ice cubes to it to stop the cooking process. As I suggested in the previous slide, if you don't have ice cubes in your freezer, just flush the carrot or the eggs under cold water or plenty of cold water to stop the cooking process because no matter what if the egg is cooked just 10 minutes and you allow it to cool down without any cold water or ice your eggs will be overcooked after a few minutes the skin of this variety of cucumber is not sweet so i will peel about 50 percent of it out so that your salad will not taste bitter. Dear friend, let's learn how to cut vegetable before we continue. Look at the sizes of this vegetable I'm cutting. It's too big for a salad or even for a steamed veg. If you're using this a carrot, courgette or something. The tip of the fork is about 2.6 centimeter. And this vegetable is about 4 centimeters. It is very long. If you add your dressing or sauce on the salad, it will take more sauce and it will drip on your shirt. Instead, you should cut it like about 3 cm or 3.2 cm so that even if it takes sauce, it will not drip on your shirt and also it will easily fit in your mouth. So this is how you should cut your vegetable. Look at the size or tip of the fork which is about 2.6 cm and the vegetable is just about 3 cm even if it takes sauce it is not going to drip and it can easily fit in your mouth you don't have to tilt your head left or right before you are able to put your vegetable in your mouth so dear friend from now be mindful of the size of your vegetable for salads because this is very very important because I do visit some big hotels and if you look at the sizes of the vegetable on the buffet, it's like, wow, but it's okay. Now we have all learned something from here. Again, dear friend, the lines we see on the onions are called greens and we cut onions according to these greens, not against it. It will make the onion firm and the flavor will be mild instead of strong flavor so divide the onion into two hold it firm on the board use your finger to guide the knife and then slice it thinly according to the greens one day we would learn basic knife skills so this is how you should cut your onions We are 
going to cut our lettuce into pieces but my dear friend don't use metal knife to cut your lettuce you can use plastic knife this is because when you use metal knife to cut the lettuce within few minutes the edges of the lettuce that touch the metal knife will become brown or rusty so it's better you use plastic knife especially if you have bread plastic knife or better still use your hand to break your lettuce so that it can stay longer for even up to three days in your fridge dear friend let's learn how to peel boiled egg in a professional way first rub the egg in your palm for about 15 seconds give it a knock or hit it on a hard surface like a ceramic bowl or the chopping board and start peeling it from the bigger part to the smaller part as i'm going to show you now so after giving it a knock just start peeling it within 10 seconds your egg will be peeled beautifully and nicely for you this is the nicest and the easiest way you can peel your egg we enjoy juju science Dear friend, time to make sauce for the salad. I will use 60% of mayonnaise for the total sauce and 40% ketchup. Mix it very well. Add black pepper to taste and mix it well again. Check the consistency. This one is too thick. This is like a stew, not a sauce. So I will add some vinegar to it. This is one tablespoon of vinegar. I will add one more. Mix it and check the consistency. Let's check the consistency again with the spoon. You can see now it's more runny. The consistency is much better. So this is our cocktail sauce. You can use it for your salad but i'm going to add chili powder you can use sweet paprika that is the original spice they use for thousand island but we want a little cake with our sauce so i'm adding one teaspoon of chili powder if you like use sweet paprika powder or half teaspoon if you don't want your salad to be spicy but you want thousand island so this is my thousand island dressing so from cocktail to thousand island as i said the option is up to you dear friend time to assemble all the ingredients together or join them in a holy matrimony what i will do is i will make two layers i will add all the ingredients one by one put sauce on it then continue again so that when you are taking just some from the lot, you will get everything no matter where you will pick it from. So that's what we are going to do and our salad will be ready. Sorry this video is long because of the techniques I explain into details but it is very easy and simple to make. Please do try it at home and I know you are going to enjoy it. Can you subscribe? Thank you for watching. God bless you and God bless us all. Adieu.